Hello everyone, welcome to the Comic Game Movie Show. My name is Sean and I have a interesting news. There will be, there is a new Fable, Fable 4, in development right now by Playground, by Playground Games, I believe they're called. I've never really heard of those guys. Apparently they're the guys who make the Forza, Forza Horizon games. So I've never heard of those guys before until, well, well, I guess now, but they're developing this and apparently it is going to be a pretty big budgeted um, affair. They're saying it's going to be something along the lines of a big, um, a character focused RPG. Now, I'm not sure what it's going to be. I'm not sure how they're going to do it. Um, I've heard rumors in the past that they were originally going to make another Fable game, but make it more darker, make it a little bit more gritty and real in tone, which I personally wouldn't have been fun with because I'm one of, I feel like I'm like the only person who fucking enjoys the Fable games. I, now, granted, Part 3 to me wasn't as good as Part 2, wasn't close. It was a hollow, a hollow shell of what, of what Fable 2 was. Fable 2 to me is one of my favorite games of all time. I loved Fable 2. I had a blast with Fable 2. Fable 2 was my introduction into playing an RPG game because I never was too hot on RPG games until I played Fable. Because I was like, ah, that's too much. I don't, I don't need all that shit, man. I don't need all this information, dude. It just point me in a direction. Or, like, and and that's the first game that made me go, okay, I see I see what it's into. It. And then I led me to playing, like, um, then that led me to playing Fallout and games of that nature, Witcher, things like that. But Fable was the first one for me. Fable was the first game that I played because, and the thing I loved about the original um, Fable 2, and I never played the original one, because I think the original one was an Xbox exclusive. I think it was, but I never played it. I didn't have it for PlayStation 2, so. Um, but I never played the original one. But what I loved about the second one, Fable 2, is that it broke RPGs down for people like me, for people who aren't into it. Like, and that's the thing about the gaming community, in my opinion, is a lot of them are kind of um, short-sighted. They just see things from their, I've been playing games for a long time perspective, and not seeing it from, well, the, for the gaming community to grow, you have to be able to digest it and give it to people who haven't been in the gaming community. That's why games like The Sims and, you know, some of the mobile games, I've done a great job with that, because it's like, you know, it brings people in to make, it, 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 it makes gaming more inviting to people who don't play it. And Fable 2, to me, was is the greatest representation of that. It broke RPGs down to a simpler level, and it, it made it easier for people who aren't into RPGs to cut, be, get into them, and then I expanded from there. But that's why I've always had a soft spot in my heart for Fable 2. Fable 3, while it didn't live up to Fable, Fable 2 at all, it had aspects of it that I did think were kind of cool, that I did think were kind of cool, but it didn't live up to it. But I'm excited for this, man. I've been waiting for another Fable. I've been waiting for them to take another shot at this and maybe get it right this time. Um, it's a new development studio because I believe they're made by a studio called Lionheart or something like that. And they were closed down. So I'm hope, hope, so I got high hopes for this. And apparently it's in its early stages, so you're probably not going to actually see anything about it for another like three years maybe. You know how that shit goes. Maybe two, three years. You're probably not even going to hear anything about it. But I'm excited for this. I'm I'm hoping for the best. Hopefully, I mean, I don't I don't know what they're gonna do. They're gonna make it take place in the same story because technically, fable all the fables take place in the same world because that same one mystery lady shows up. But hopefully, um, they do more. You know, because that's the biggest thing about Fable Three that was disappointing was I thought Fable Three was gonna be just take what Fable Two was and do more with it, but it didn't. Hopefully, this fable can be the Fallout Four. Can be like Fallout 4, because Fallout 4 introduced new concepts, new ways to do certain things, expanded upon the Fallout series, but Fallout series. So hopefully this new Fable, which is I'm going to just call Fable 4, because I hope they just call it Fable 4, or they just ignore Fable 3 and just say that never happened, but either way, I'm excited for this, I probably feel like I'm the only YouTuber on the fucking planet who's excited for another Fable game, but I'm excited for Fable, like I said, this is my introduction into RPGs, it was the game that I played that I was like, you know what man, maybe this stuff isn't so difficult, maybe this stuff isn't such a pain in the ass, it's the game that like kinda warmed me into the idea of it, because like I said, before I played that game, I was like, screw RPGs, I just played like Call of Duty, Madden, like linear games like Jack and Daxter or Prince of Persia. I was like, fuck that. I'm not playing an RPG, though. I'm just playing linear games with a straight story. I'm not doing that crap. I'm not... Screw that. Because that shit seems too difficult. But then I played Fable, and I was like, okay, you know what? If, like, they broke it down to you. They made it digestible for me, okay? That's why I've always loved Fable, like I said. Like, the video game community sometimes have this interesting, like, weird, like, look down upon people who, um... 
who don't play like certain games and and like I said, I feel like Fable is like this black sheep in the fucking video game community because anytime you bring it up, it's 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 the it's the Naruto of the video game community. People pretend like it's such a bad like people sometimes pretend like it's such a bad series. I'm just like whoa 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 because anytime I've ever brought it up, like I'm just like whoa whoa dude like it's not that fucking what Fable Two is fucking fucking awesome dude. I love Fable Two. I legitimately love Fable Two. I would give that game a nine out of ten. I honestly, I love Fable 2. Now, Fable 3, that's a different discussion. But Fable 2, loved it. So, Fable 4, it's co- it's in the early development. It's going to have a bigger budget than the other Fables. Made by a different company, developer company, than the other Fables. So, I'm interested to see what it turns out like. I hope they don't lose the cart. Because one of the greatest things about Fable is it has this pseudo cartoonist to it. But at the same time, it's serious. Like, no, it's like, it's weird. It has this, it has a style all on all in its own like it really does that's this interesting style all in its own it has this weird british cartoon vibe to it but at the same time it takes itself a little seriously but then it has this humor this weird dark humor and it's an interest like i said a lot that's why i love the fable series because they have their own style and their own unique look to it i see that game and i'm like yeah that's a fable game and it has this interesting like I said, it has these weird cartoon ticks, and sometimes they have ticks that seem like something out of a Sims game, but it's so interesting how they meld that together to make this interesting, unique game. So hopefully they don't lose that, because that's what I was worried about when I heard they were making a darker, more real version. I was like, okay, so they're going to lose their ticks. They're going to just become any other RPG. But hopefully it turns out fine. I think, like I said, I think the company's called um, Playground Development, I mean Playground Games. Like I said, I heard they. I think those are the guys who made Forest Horizon. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm not great with this stuff. That's why I usually have Seth and Mark on for this. But I figured um, this is a good time and any to talk about it. But yeah, Fable Four is coming out. It's in early development. Got a big budget. Throw out any ideas. Are you a fan of the Fable series? If you are, throw out your ideas for the um, Fable game. I might come up with a video of my own later. Um, throwing out ideas like top five things that they could upgrade and top five things they could do better in the Fable series. But anywho, thank you for joining the Comic Game Movie Show. Please remember to like and subscribe. We'll be coming back on Saturday, posting something up about um we're, um, we're reviewing a movie. Uh, I'll let you know what the movie is when we review it. And uh, we'll be doing our top five most anticipated games and top five most anticipated movies. So thank you for joining the Comic Game Movie Show. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.